In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, optimizing a corridor or section we use uh, to be something construction friendly. So in my screen, you can see I have a corridor here and you can see the sub assembly, assembly that is used to create this corridor and in the bottom you can see some section views. So you can see this cross section views here. Uh, the problem here is that we have a bench here. So this maximum fill height is 6 meters. After that we had to have a bench of 2 meters. Then we will start the fill again. So you can notice here it's a very small fill after the bench. Here it is also the same. Here it is also the same. Here it is also the same. So here it is worse than that the previous case. Here was also worse than that the previous case. Here same scenario. Here same scenario. So you can see after the bench we have a very small fill. So in construction terms or in construction perspective, uh, there is no point of creating this berm or uh, creating this berm because. Uh, after that berm we will have very small fill. So let us see a way how to avoid these kind of small fills with a berm by modifying the sub assembly or assembly we are using. So without the cross section, so without the section we use here, here also we can see this scenario after the berm you have a very small corridor after the berm. So here also we can notice that even without section views. So here I have this sub assembly here. So since this is a fill section, the sub assembly act on this scenario will be this one. Here I have used a conditional sub assembly for fill uh, 0 to 9999. 9, so I have this kind of uh, sub assembly. So if I go to sub assembly properties, you will see. I have my fill maximum fill height is 6 meters and 1.5 into 1 slope will be there. So let us say uh, we will say if the berm if the fill height is less than 7 meter we will tell civil treaty to avoid having a berm. So without having a berm we will tell civil treaty you go straight to ground with a uh, 7 meter height fill up to fill height of 7 meter. So that is the condition I am going to achieve here. So here if this fill height is less than 7 meters it will avoid the berm and directly fill into the ground if the fill height is less than 7 meters. So this is how to achieve it. So currently I have one conditional assembly. So I will add one more conditional assembly here. So I go to tool palettes and go to conditional cut and fill and in my properties I will change the layout grade to 0.5 to 1 and it will be at a fill section. So let us say this is applied only from 0 to 7 meter fill height 0 to 7 meter fill height and I will click here to add the conditional assembly so it is asking for a name here so conditional assembly at rhs right now i have added that one so i will press escape to exit the command then from 0 to 7 i would have the same assembly but i will do some modification to so i will copy this assembly from here to here it is daylight bench RHS and I select this assembly go to properties again so here under properties I will say the max, max fill height would be 7 meters max fill height would be 7 meters that means up to up to a fill height of 7 meters it will go without a berm so I will click OK here 
so i will do a little modification here also this will take effect up to fill height of 7 meter so this will take effect after that height that means 7.001 that means higher than 7 meters click ok so i'll mirror this one to the other side so we will have the same thing on the other side which should be lhs this one also should be lhs so now this one is okay i have to modify this one this should be 7.0012 9 so what really happens now is up to if the fill height is less than 7 meters it will apply this assembly so in this assembly you have a berm a fill height of 7 meters before the berm if the fill height is greater than 7 meters it will apply this assembly which has a, a fill height of 6 meters before the Burn. so now everything okay what i have to do is rebuild the corridor so i will select the corridor here then i go and set all targets here i have not set the eg targets so my final finish existing ground is final eg and i click okay and okay here now everything is okay now you can see these parts the berm has been vanished because if the fill height is less than 7 meters you can see in these places there is no fill here, here you have a small fill here but after that you have no fill now this is construction friendly you can easily construct without a berm here so that is how to avoid small fill height small berms with small fill height using civil 3d corridors i have used the conditional sub assemblies to achieve this target